Next grammar point is shortened form of the oblique pronoun with postposition ko. In Hindi, a vast number of sentences are formed where the subject takes the postposition ko. So it is very common to hear sentences where the pronouns are with the postposition ko, such as muchko, aapko, usko, hamko, etc. These forms, pronouns with the postposition ko, have shortened version too. These shortened forms are also very commonly used. There's no difference between short and long form. They are synonyms and they can be used interchangeably all the time. Here we have the list of pronouns with the postposition ko and their shortened forms. Muchko, mujhe. The short form of muchko is mujhe. Tujko, tujhe. The short form of tujko is tujhe. Isko, ise. Usko, use. Hamko, hame. Tumko, tumhe. Aapko does not have a short form, it is always aapko. Inko, inhe. And unko has a short form, unhe. The question word kisko, to whom, also has a short form, kise. Let's take some sentences. Wo mujhko bula raha hai, wo mujhe bula raha hai. He is calling me. Both forms have exactly the same meaning. Main roz usko use dekhta hoon. I see him every day. Pitaji hume humko nahi sunte. Father does not listen to us.